Deforestation is causing zoonotic diseases to spread. When there is a loss of foraging bees, the population declines, mites and other diseases then begin to spiral out of control, and suddenly the whole colony collapses. I want to bring to you an epiphany that I've had that I think is just truly revolutionary. That the same mushrooms that can limit bird flu, H5N1, herpes, also positively affect bees and being able for them to control the viral burden and reduce them. So we started doing experiments with bees. They're given extracts of the mycelium, the mycohoney. As the mycohoney increases, there is a radical decline in the viral pathogen payload. They can upregulate their immune system, give them a host defense antiviral shield, allow them to detoxify toxins, and allow them to be better pollinators. Dr. Steve Shepard, who I'm working with, as an entomologist of 39 years of experience studying bees, I'm unaware of any reports that extend the life of worker bees more than this. We are suffering a collapse of our ecosystems, but we can do something about this. I want to call out to all of you as citizen scientists to join in a mycological revolution, to be able to go out and help wild bees as well as the honeybee, and to be able to engage in permaculture practices to return carbon back into the soil, to build the mycelial networks, because we are far more interconnected with mycelium and nature than we even have a glimpse of being possible.